Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the house robber problem from Lead Code. This is a Lead Code medium and the number for this is 198. So in this problem, we are given with a professional robber planning to rob houses along the street. And each house had a certain amount of money stashed in it. And the only constraint which is stopping the robber from robbing is that every adjacent house have a security system connected with each other. So if the robber tries to uh, rob two adjacent houses at the same night, uh, the alarm will ring and uh, he will get caught. So what we have to do, we have to, uh, we are given an integer array nums representing where each index represents a house and the value in that contains the amount of money in each house. So we have to tell the maximum amount of money what uh, one can rob without alerting the police. So uh, let's see, suppose we have the nums equal to 1, 2, 3 and 1. So if we rob this 1 and 3, we'll get 4 and this is not adjacent also. If we rob this 2 and 1, we'll get 3 and this 1 and 3 will give 4. So definitely uh, 1 and uh, robbing the houses containing the money 1 and 3 is a better choice so uh, the maximum amount of money is 4 now this problem can be solved using dynamic programming and uh, we can choose the concept of pick and non-pick in this like uh, we traverse the entire array we go to each index and we decide two things either to pick it or to not pick it if you are uh, picking a house to rob it that means you have to leave the last house which you have robbed or the money which you have robbed. So let's see how we are going to do this. So uh, initially we are going to have two variables robbed and not robbed and initialized with zero. So uh, we are starting here that index equal to zero. We have rob equal to zero, no rob equal to zero. And then we iterate and we check. If there is a possibility we can rob the house one, then how much money you will get? If you do a new robbery, you will get fun, one amount of money. And if you do not rob this house, this particular house, if you leave this, what you will get uh, currently zero because no rob is zero here. Now when you go to the next iteration, this new rob becomes the rob and new no rob becomes the no rob. Because for every house you uh, move ahead. Uh, the rob the rob values changes so this one comes here new rob comes in the rob and the new no rob comes in the no rob okay now for i equal to 2 i equal to 1 we have rob value equal to 1 and no rob value equal to 0 so i is here now so we are here at 2 so at 2 if you do the robbery how much money you can get so if you will rob the uh, this house that means you have to leave the last robbed house so if you leave the last one you will have only two okay we have only two two coins let's say and if you do not rob this two how much would you then in that case you would take take that one so that one comes from here okay now we have the new rob and the new no rob done for this particular house we move to the next house the new rob becomes the rob new no rob becomes no rob two comes here one comes here now we are at the, this house now if we pick three we have to leave two and we have to pick one instead and if we do not pick three then we have to pick two in the in that case so if we pick the house zero and house two that means three and one so the new rob value becomes four and if we pick if we do not pick then we'll only have two so we only have two here okay we again have the new rob new no rob value replace it move ahead to the last house now coming to the last house if we pick this then we have to pick the two so that means the new rob value will be three and uh, no not uh, actually this is overlapped I mean swapped here it will be 3 and here it will be 4 you can understand 
so if we drop this particular house here it will come 3 because it will be 1 plus 2 and uh, not dropped if we do not drop this one then in that case we will be having 3 and 1 so here it will be 4 I am sorry for this like swapping but you can understand it I am telling you so after this what we have to do is that we have to only check which of, which of these is the maximum and return the maximum out of these and we are done with the solution so just use two variables rob and no rob iterate through the each house and then uh, check for each and calculate the new rob and new no rob and finally return the maximum out of these so this is the uh, approach now let's come to the coding section but before that do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel so let's see we want a variable drop equal to zero and new uh, no rob equal to zero and we have to iterate in the array so we are iterating the array and here we have an int new rob new rob means you are performing the robbery and if you are performing the robbery that means the last house which you went you did not rob so no rob plus nums of i and if you do not rob that means you can pick the last house so int new no rob will be mat dot max of no rob and the rob and uh, the rob becomes the new rob uh, yes the new rob and the no rob becomes new no rob so pretty simple now afterwards simply return mat dot max rob and no rob let's see if it runs I'm sorry for the sound caused due to the construction in the next house Yeah, it passes the uh, test cases with a good time complexity and a good memory complexity. The time complexity for this solution is O of n because we are traversing the array only once. And the space complexity is O of 1 because we are only using variables that takes con constant space. You can also check the uh, my C++, Java and Python solutions by going into the solution panel here and check this solution. Here you can see the intuition, the approach, the complexity analysis, Java code, C++, Python, JavaScript. And yes, do remember me to upload. So I hope you understood the logic very, it was pretty easy. And you can explain this to the interviewer in an interview and he will be definitely impressed by your solution if you do by this way. So all the best for your uh, journey. I hope you like the video. Please share it to your friends. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.